At one stage or another, we've always had a bit of a laugh about the big fella in open space. We've all had a yarn about a prop playing on the wing. Eddie Jones, when talking about players being out of position, even once had a joke that Jack Nowell should be playing at flanker. Well, guys, for today's video, I'm going to discuss selecting an entire back line full of forwards for your entertainment. Just a bit of a lighthearted topic. So let's do us all a favor and let's roll the channel intro. Let's go. Kia ora guys, welcome back to the Black Jersey. My name's Max and a big thank you to my patrons as per normal. Just remember to subscribe to this channel and support me elsewhere if you're a lover of my content. And for my halfback to start off today's video, well, I, I found this one rather very difficult to select, so I'm going to go for Dane Cole's halfback. Picking a forward who can play at nine, such a technical, such a specific role was always going to be difficult. So I went for a guy that's 1.84 meters tall and 110 kgs but is still very, very lippy. Coles has no shame in having a bit of a laugh with the other guys on the field. He's got no shame getting under their skin. And we all know that every decent halfback is an expert at getting under the opponent's skin. Anton Dupont does so because he's so absolutely amazing. Fafter Klerk does it because he kicks all the time and tries to pick a fight with forwards. And of course, Aaron Smith does it because, well, he's Aaron Smith. He's been at test level for a long time. Coles is 36 years old and has actually scored 20 tries off 84 tests. So he's He's actually not too bad of a selection when you consider his try scoring rate either. Now for my fly half, I've decided to go for Caelan Doris of Ireland. Believe it or not, Doris is the same height as Blair Kinghorn of Scotland and just 7 kgs heavier than him due to his low body fat percentage. Doris is 25 years old and has played 28 test caps and my goodness, he has been a revelation in the expensive rugby that Andy Farrell's Ireland have been playing. They're always using a forward to send the ball out the back, they're always getting the forwards to offload and distribute, just slot into the main line and Doris has been doing so absolutely beautifully. I classed him as the most important Irish player of the 2020s so far, so make sure you check out my depth chart video to see the examination of how versatile he is. If he's that versatile, why can't he play number 10? I've gone for guys who are normally key decision makers for their national teams for 9 and 10 so far, but for wing, I just want to go for a guy that's got a fair bit of pace. Quagga Smith may be 29 years old, but he had an extensive showing for the South African Sevens team before he made his debut for the Springboks in 2018 against Wales. Smith is only 93 kgs and 1.8 metres, so he's a very gutsy guy to be a um, flanker, but goodness me, he's got a lot of pace, so he would not look out of place on the wing. You could probably slot him in at halfback as well but he's a very well disciplined player for an open side flanker so I don't think that would quite go over too well considering how niggly halfbacks has to be. Um, he's got 20 points from his four tries at test rugby and he's played 25 tests so that's also a very good strike rate for a makeshift winger indeed especially with that sevens background. For this video, I was never going to be able to select a guy that was going to be able to kick that's forward, so I've decided to go for a guy that's really good with the offload. I've gone for David Ribbons of England. Though he was born in South Africa, he's played five tests for England. He's yet to score, but my goodness, his distribution is absolutely phenomenal to watch. He does have a decent try scoring rate at club level as well. I looked up how he's done for Northampton, and at 2.02 metres and 116 kgs, imagine that freight train of a man just running at you from second receiver I'd probably just run away and cower in fear because this guy is an absolute unit he's got amazing instincts to be at this part of the field so let's just do it let's put David Ribbons at number 12. As the inside centre in this team isn't very experienced, I've decided to put a very experienced player, the number 13, Artie Savia. Yes, I know guys, it's kind of a bit of a cheap move because the world's best player, Artie Savia, he used to play at number 13 at high school, and of course, um, he does have the same genetics as his brother Julian, one of the highest try scorers in the history of Test Rugby. Savia's got a very good um, try scoring rate of his own. He's got 70 tests to his name so far, and he's scored 20 tries within this time frame. He's 100 kgs and one point 
1.9 meters. So he's actually a pretty accurate size for a modern center, especially considering he's going to be a bit more of a distributor with ribbons, um, crash ball running up and running. Savia is a number eight as well. He's a key decision maker for the All Blacks. So we'll have no harm making the tough calls in midfield as he once did in a stomping ground at Rongatai College in Wellington. We all know the old cliche of the prop and the hooker stationed out on the wing, and so I've got to do this cliche. I've got to get it over and done with. I've got Dan Sheehan, the Irish hooker, as my number 14. Sheehan's most recent test was his first real signature performance at test level. He's really starting to come along and become a true first choice player for the Irish after 17 tests. He got two of his four tries within this test against England, and at 1.91 meters and 111 kgs, he actually shapes up as a guy who could really just handle the high ball back in the field so he's actually not too um, bad for a hooker who's going to be stationed out on the wing. I truly believe that Dan Sheehan has the pace to do this as well as we can see with this absolutely phenomenal running game over here. When picking my fullback I really needed a nice safety net on defence who's also going to be really good under the high ball so for this reason I've gone for Charles Olivon who's the former captain of France. I wanted to have another older statesman kind of like Coles but as he's deep out the back it needs to be a guy who keeps his discipline. Olivon's probably tall enough to play lock at 1.99 meters and he's 114 kgs. That makes him the perfect safety net and that makes him excellent for the high ball as he's so used to being the first choice jumper in the French lineout. After 33 tests he's also got 12 tries which is a huge amount for a flanker. He was even the top try scorer of the 2026 nations so the French flanker Charles Olivon I cannot think of a better forward to put in as a fullback. Make Make sure to comment your thoughts on a possible um, bunch of forwards who could play in the backs down below and also remind me who could possibly play in the forwards that's a back for my next video that's going to come out in a few weeks time that's going to be about a similar topic and stuff. As I said at the start of the video a big thank you to my patrons just make sure to support me over on Instagram over on Twitter my opinion journalism website and of course subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching this video guys hope it gave you a good laugh and I'll see you later. Cheers from Max.